opening of the heart. And there is a food in the world that opens our heart. 70% of the year, women buy chocolate. The week before Valentine's Day, 70% of the time, it's men buying chocolate. <laughs> when you get into chocolate, you've locked on to a food that it can actually give you enough nutrition without vitamin supplementation. Number one source of vitamin C of any nut or seed and one of the highest vitamin C sources of any food is cacao. That food. Isn't that ridiculous? Now, processed chocolate, when it's been boiled, broiled, burned, microwave processed, hexane extracted, that doesn't have any vitamin C in it, but the real thing does. And when you have that, you have something you could put in your pocket, walk on a plane. They haven't taken that one away yet. I've been through customs. I've been through the whole thing. I was caught in customs. Listen to this. Going into Canada, I get caught in customs. I have tons of chocolate in my suitcase. They're like, what are you doing with all this chocolate? I'm like, uh, I'm a chocolatier. They said, tell me about chocolate. I said, well, you know, I, I'm, I deal in raw chocolate, raw cacao. So I start going into it. And the woman, she's sitting there, you know, going through. She's on the computer. I, I don't know if she's like, you, know, I, you never know what they're looking at on those computers. So I stick this thing under her nose. What is this? This is important news. Check it out. This is the most powerful aphrodisiac you can put on a woman's skin. Men, are you listening? Do I have your attention now? You take a little bit of this, you put it under a woman's nose, and you're, you're on first base. So I, I literally I slipped this under her nose, and she just stopped talking. She stamps my passport and just didn't even look at me. I, I just grabbed my passport and walked out of there. Is this thing still working? Okay, good. Anyway, this is raw, organic chocolate oil. The very first time in human history this product has been available to you. Sometimes you've seen this product in another form. Let's see if we can do this properly. All right. You've seen it as cocoa butter. Anybody ever seen that? This has been extracted with high heat for all of human history, which destroys the omega-6 fatty acid, throws the flavor over, and gives it kind of a weird consistency. We've learned how to process it, cold process it, like cold processed olive oil, so you get the smooth creaminess, goes right into the skin, you can put it right in around your eyes, and it actually has an SPF of three. Right on. Chocolate is half the deal. That's what I want to give you here. You know, you, what you, you're going to walk out of here and go, okay, chocolate, we can get that one. Cacao, the raw nut. Here's what you eat it with. I was just down in New Zealand at Hort Research. They gave me all their details, their papers. I've been in their laboratories about how cacao and berries go well together, and the antioxidants in cacao are tripled in their effectiveness, and the antioxidants in the berries are tripled in their effectiveness when you eat them together. Alchemy, Willy Wonka style. Number one berry in the world, the goji berry. We brought this food. I mean, that's a claim to fame. We brought this food to the internet. We brought it into stores. The or first organic goji berries in North America, we brought that into the, into the common kind of mindset. What's going on here? This food is just incredible. You can feed it to kids, babies, elderly people, middle-aged people who can't eat. People who have, they, their digestive system is completely blown out. You can make a tea with it. It's the most exquisite tea in the world. It's considered very likely the number two longevity food in the world and very likely the best protein source found in the entire plant world in a fruit. It's a complete protein. It is one of the best antioxidant sources ever. Only The only thing that's higher is acai berries and cacao. The only things that are higher. It's considered in Chinese medicine, 8,000 food herbs, 5,000 years of history to be the number one food herb in that system. 
How ginseng got here before goji berry, I don't know. Goji berry, cacao, together. Now, people ask me, is it a tree? Is it a bush? Is it a vine? What does it look like? Unbeknownst to most people, there are 85 species of goji berries that grow in Asia, and those are the great ones, the Tibetan varieties and the Chinese varieties, but there are 15 species that grow right here in America. And this is an opportunity, listen close. The greatest ginseng in the world grows in America. The greatest reishi mushroom in the world grows in America, not Asia. The greatest astragalus in the world grows in America, not Asia. And the greatest goji berry in the world grows in America, in the Arizona desert. Here it is. Right there just underneath me is a goji berry bush. Here's a little closer look. That's what it looks like. The wild Arizona desert goji berry. The Anasazis, the Apaches lived on this. This is one of their major foods in their diet. And we are out there every year in that scorching sun picking those things because of the prana, the mana, the power, the force of one food. Do we have to know everything in nutrition? You know, this one woman called me up one time and she said, hey, I am a CEO of a company. I am busy. You're the nutrition guy. You tell me what to eat. You just put it in a bag and give it to me. I said, whoa, I got a job. We're getting it down. We got to get it simple. The simplest ever because I want it to be as easy as possible for you to open that door. These foods are so rich that they open doors for you. We have a prejudice in our culture that we can only learn things through books, tapes, people. How about learning things from gardening? How about learning things from eating plants? Can a plant teach you something? Cacao has taught me how to open my heart and how to be a lot more zany. I was at a dinner with a friend, Mr. Peter Nygaard, the Nygaard Enterprise. You ever heard of Nygaard fashion? Mr. Peter Nygaard's a friend of mine, and we were over dinner at his house, and I, I, they wanted, they, he, he put me up on the table, said, tell everybody about cacao and goji berries. So I was like, okay, you know, so I got up on the table, told everybody about cacao and goji berries. Friend of mine, he said, hey, you got to talk to my friend John. So he dragged me over to John. Turns out this guy, John, was best friends with all my best friends in college. And John said, look, I'm getting on a plane at 6 a.m. to go to Paris. I'm going to go to Paris, to Rome. Help me. Do something for me. I said, John, hold on one second. I ran over to my car. I got a plastic bag out like this. John doesn't eat organic food. He's never heard of any of this stuff. He just said, help me. Here's what I did. Let me show you a little trick. I took... My bag of goji berries, I dumped it in the bag. <laughs> Who can do this? You with me? Making it simple, that's the whole point. Okay, I took a bag of cacao. Right. Took the bag, dumped it in the bag. All I had was cashews, because I, I, I had to put something else in there. So I just took the bag of cashews, Dumped it in the bag. And by the way, we deal in raw organic cashews. If you've never had them, give it a try. It's wonderful. They're over, by the way, they're over at our booth. My booth is right there, Sun Food Nutrition. It's a nice little group in front of there with a purple top. And I'll be over there afterwards signing books and whatever and having fun. Anyway, so I gave him this bag. I said, John, whenever you're tempted for junk food, snack food, airplane food, those peanuts that they serve, anything like that, I want you to reach in this bag and I want you to snack on this bag your entire trip. Six weeks later, I get a knock on my door. I open the door. It's John. John, you look good. What happened? You'll never believe this. He lost 35 pounds. On the way out the door at the last second, I threw a naked chocolate book at him. I said, here, for the plane. So he's reading it on the plane, and he's eating this food. He's eating the cacao beans out of the bag, and he's walking down the streets of Paris. He's a finance guy, and he sees Rue de Cacao, the Cacao Street in Paris. There's a Cacao Street in Paris. He's like, oh, my God. So he walks into the first door. He has the book. He has the cacao beans in one hand. He walks up to the cashier. The cashier, she can't speak a word of English. He can't speak a word of French. Anyway, he goes from there to Rome. He's working with the Vatican in their financing. 
You know how business is? We have any business owners in here? Yeah. When you have an hour-long business meeting, 45 of those minutes, what do you end up doing? You talk about what you're into. The last 15 minutes, you go, okay, where do I sign? Okay, yeah, uh-huh. So he's, he's so excited about cacao by the time he gets to the Vatican. He's in the Vatican with our cacao beans, walking around, feeding the pe number three underneath the popes, eating our cacao beans. So he's just talking about chocolate, chocolate this, chocolate that. Now the Vatican has a huge stronghold in South America where cacao comes from. So they're like, whoa, wait a second, tell us more, tell us more. So the Vatican starts going all out on finding out about the chocolate. They even grab my book, Naked Chocolate, and keep a copy. There's a copy of this in the Vatican. You should have seen John. John had all these pictures from inside the Vatican. You, you could, 007 couldn't take those pictures. He got to go into the library, the whole show. Anyway, John's at the house. We're having a great time. A couple days go by. Phone rings. One of the girls at the house answered the phone. I said, who is it? She said, the Vatican. The Vatican calls my house. Unbelievable. Making it easy to do. Now, what we do, what we, where we orient ourselves is in a couple directions. That's why I'm up here, and that's why Harvest brought me here. Because I know that you can add goji berries into your diet and experience something. There are people in this audience right now, and they've come to my booth and talked to me, who were at Extreme Health, saw the presentation, said, yeah, I can add a few things into my diet. Lost 20 pounds without trying. 38 pounds without trying. 30 pounds without trying. Why? Because all you got to do, how much can you eat in a day? When you got this in front of you, right, this is, it, this is in the pocket. You're traveling, you break this out, you snack on this, it's all good. You're getting all your vitamins, all your minerals from food. You're, you have a history that supports you about the food. So you have a connection to where it's coming from, how it's grown, the mythology behind the food, all of that. And it's fun. And by the way, if food ain't fun, we better stop right now. We got to get on that program quick. Have, remember your mom, like, don't throw it on the wall or whatever. Throw it on the wall. Remember that? Don't try this at home. Try this at home. I want to thank you so much for being a kind and gentle audience. 